Hello and welcome to episode 41 of my Working with Evernote series. In this episode we have some exciting news because Evernote this week has just launched Evernote 8.0, actually we got an update, so 8.01 of their new iOS app. And there's some quite significant changes in this new version of Evernote. And I just want to go through a few of them to show you how I think this new version of Evernote works. I actually, to be honest, I really quite like it because uh, I use my phone to capture ideas as I'm running around and Evernote have made that process that much faster. So let's get straight into it and let's get to have a look at what Evernote have done with their new version, Evernote 8.0 for iOS. Okay, so here we go with my iPhone. So we can just tap on uh, the Evernote and get it open. So here we have the Evernote new opening button and I can go over here, which is all my notes and I can do straight into search, which is here, which is fantastic. And uh, I can go into uh, my add a button. Now, this is one of the cool things. If we look up here, you've got this wonderful plus button and tapping on that, just a quick tap, immediately you're into the add note. And as you notice that, that was actually very, very quick, much faster than the previous version. Um, Another one that we can do for cancel search, I can go into my shortcuts. Now this, for me, is one of the best things about this new feature. If you look down here, I've got my shortcuts and I can click on that and it takes me straight to the shortcuts that I have in my um, Evernote. Now, the beauty of this is my shortcuts are actually the files or notes that I'm currently working on. So this is absolutely fantastic because I'm straight into my incubator and for those of you who followed this series, you know that my incubator folder is the one that actually um, is all the different, all the things that I'm actually working on at this moment in time. So I really like that feature that I can go straight into my shortcuts. Now let's just go straight back to the notes section. So when you open up Evernote now, it comes up on here and you don't have that home screen where you then have to click again to go into your notes. Your notes are here and generally speaking, they're gonna be all the notes that you're working on. If you want to go into a particular project or notebook, you click on the top there and it'll take you into all your notebooks, which is really, really cool as well. So let's click out of that. Now, another feature that the new iOS Evernote 8.0 has is this plus button. If you hold the plus button, now you can go into audio, for photo, or just start into a reminder, which again is actually a really cool feature if you are uh, wanting to grab an audio note or quickly take a photo or you know, start creating a reminder. So again, that's a really cool thing that you can do uh, with Evernote. Now, <clears throat> some of the other things that you've done is let's start a new note. Um, we can now, if we go into the title here, I can type in test note. So we're going to set test note and then we start writing. Here, if you click on that, that's your ABC. So, okay, that's going to be the typeface that you're using. But if you click on this A button next to it, now you can make it larger, medium or large. You've got these wonderful colors here. So let's just go back to ABC. So I've done red and I made it medium test note. Whoa, 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 whoa. So now I can actually have a red note. Uh, I can make it large um, and I can do all my usual things. Now this is much, much clearer than it was in the previous version of Evernote. And I always used to have problems, particularly if I was starting off with a note. So let's just go down here and I tap on that. Um, starting like a bullet point or a numbered note or a checklist. It was a pain in the ass if, because it was very difficult to actually see what type of note I was selecting. Now, as you can see down here, that is so, so much easier to do. Um, so I'm really, really very, very happy with this new update. Um, it's a really cool way of, um, of doing things. Okay, I can just quickly change the color back to black. 
uh, go back to there and I can type test. As you can see, this is so much easier for, than the previous version of Evernote on iOS. So I want to give it a really big thumbs up. These are my favorite features in the new function. Um, but there are probably a lot more that I haven't found, but this is what I've been playing with so far. And I can say I am very, very happy. One more thing though, uh, since I updated to, uh, I, uh, to an iPhone 7, um, although I've got this quick add note here, which I say is very, very fast, as you can see, uh, I've actually got into the habit of using 3D Touch because I, I really do like that. So if you hold down there, you can see that you get the latest note comes up almost immediately. New note, take photos, set reminder. I mean, these are really cool and very fast. Again, click on that, bang, you're straight into the new note. So that is actually my preferred choice of capturing notes really quickly now. But anyway, that's it for today uh, that I wanted to cover in the new version of Evernote for iOS, uh, iOS Evernote 8.0. Fantastic new features. The guys over at Evernote have done a really, really good job. And to be honest, I couldn't be any more happier. So thanks guys at Evernote, fantastic job. Keep it up. Let's hope we get something quite similar coming on the desktop version in the near future. But who knows, they have promised some updates there. So let's hope they get some coming in soon. Okay, thanks very much for watching this episode. I hope you found it useful. Uh, please join me again in the next episode and for the rest of it, for all of you, I just wish you all a very, very productive week.